Hello, and welcome to the fourth in this series of videos from Yellow Crane Tai Chi. My name is Harold, and in this video, we're going to do the move Parting the Wild Horse's Mane. Like in the earlier videos, before we do the move, we need to learn a Tai Chi concept. This time round, we're going to look at holding the ball and turning the ball. One of the aspects of Tai Chi is it's a three dimensional system and it works on a series of spheres. Now, spheres, big word, we just simply say in Tai Chi, we hold balls. At any time in Tai Chi, we could be in a situation where we have a ball in our hands. Now, the first thing I have to point out here is these balls are imaginary. They're not really there, they're just a guide to help you move your hands around. If I could give you some kind of VR plugin so you could see it to make this a whole lot easier, I would love that. But the technology's not quite there yet. So we're going to have to use our brain power and a little bit of imagination first. So the first thing we need to do is find our ball. Now it's very easy in Tai Chi to find it, but always having it in your hands can be quite complicated. So if we start from our piano playing position we used for Repulse Monkey, i.e. Here, if I turn my hands to face each other, that's where my ball is. So my ball is here. So at this moment in time, I have an imaginary basketball in my hands. Because my hands are a specific shape, my brain kind of fools it into thinking I've actually got my hands around a ball. This takes a little time to get used to, but I do kind of think there's a ball here. I know there isn't, but to me, it feels like there's one. So I've now kind of got an idea of where my ball is. I want to be able to do something with it. And for the purposes of this exercise, we're going to learn how to turn it over. To help with turning over the ball, I always think that I have a globe. So I have the South Pole and the North Pole. So I want north, north, and south, south. So I turn my hands like this. So north is north, and south is south. So now I want to make north, south, and south, north. And I do that by turning over the ball. So north is south and south is north. In the spirit of Miyagi-san, I always like to take shortcuts or find ways to learn this easier. For this one, I use my good old friend, the processed potato snack. Now, it doesn't have to be one of these. A uh, carton of tennis balls does the same thing. The idea is the top swivels. As long as it moves freely, you'll be able to do this and it'll be perfectly fine. So I take my not quite a ball and remember, south pole, north pole. So I bring north, north and south, south. Because the lid swivels, the tube turns round. Now I want to turn the tube over so it's the other way round. So I think like I'm making north, south and south, north. As you can see, it turns over. And back again. So this is a quick and easy way to learn the movement by having something in your hands. Like I said, it doesn't have to be one of these tubes. It could also be tennis balls or even a spaghetti tube. They're roughly the same size and shape and as long as you don't hold on, you should be able to do the movement quite easily. The trick with the ball is we don't use it as a ball, we actually use it as a steering wheel. So we use the ball to help us turn our body. Or more importantly, we turn our body to help us turn the ball. So if I think this is a steering wheel, if I want to turn to the left, I turn the steering wheel to the left. If I want to turn to the right, I come back to the middle and then turn to the right. 
and back to the middle. So the idea is, whatever direction you're turning, that hand goes down. So now that we have this idea of the Tai Chi ball, we can use that to help us develop the move. So now we're going to head on to parting the white horse's mane. As always, we're going to start with the hand movements and then add the leg movements later. So we're going to start off with the hand movements on their own, then add in the swing and then finish off using the same footwork that we used previously in brush knee push step. So we're looking to get into a ball holding position with our right hand at the bottom. So we come up to a piano playing position, we hold the ball and we turn the ball. My right hand is at the bottom, my left hand is at the top. So from here, I'm going to take my right arm and extend it out like I'm throwing a frisbee. I'm going to take my left hand and I'm basically going to push it down and out to the side. So it goes down a little bit and then goes out to the side. It's a bit like stroking the dog from the previous move, but it's not exactly the same. So if I go back to opening the box in Repulse Monkey, and bring my forearms together, so both hands are pointing forwards. This is a bunchy box, I suppose what you call it, but this is what your upper hand should feel like when you're doing parting the wild horse's mane. So when I do the move, my right arm feels like a bunched up open box. Now the left hand, it's stroking an animal, but it's not a dog. I always think like an, a llama or an alpaca, so that you're coming down the neck a little bit and then stroking the back. So the basic actions are hold a ball, throw a frisbee while you stroke a llama. So on the other side, hold a ball. Left hand at the bottom, right hand on top. So I throw the frisbee with the left hand, stroke the llama with the right hand. So coming in, hold the ball. Left hand on top. Throw the frisbee with the right hand, stroke the llama with the left hand. I want my right hand to come in a bit like I'm putting a lid on a pot which gives me the top of the ball. To get my left hand in, I just imagine it's the tail of the animal I just struck. Swish, and I'm holding the ball again. So continuing, throw the frisbee with the left hand, stroke the llama with the right hand. Put the lid on the pot and swish the dog's tail. Frisbee llama, pot lid tail. At this point I can discuss the magic of language in Tai Chi. This move is called parting the wild horse's mane and you're doing exactly that. I have my her brush and I have my horse. It has her and I'm coming it to one side. Now if I do that on both sides, I've parted its mane. And it's a wild horse because it's particularly straggly her. Got that? So now I'm going to do the move with the swinging action from a post monkey. So you can get used to the phasing of how the hands swing in time with the body moving from side to side. Starting off in our just fight position, feet right, legs right. Shoulders right, head right, hold the ball, left hand on top, okay? Right hand is going to go out as I turn and the left hand is going to stroke the mane. So my right hand is pointing to one o'clock 
and my left hand is kind of in line with me towards the camera. Turning back to the middle, I hold the ball again. So switch the dog's tail, put the paw on the lid. I'm in the middle. I'm now going to swing to 11 o'clock. My left arm goes long. My right hand strokes the horse's mane. So again, left hand to 11 o'clock, right hand kind of in front of me. Switch the tail, put the lid on. One o'clock. Back to the middle. 11 o'clock. So practicing just that, swinging with the hands for a short time is always a good way to build up to the more complex move of doing it with the footwork, which I'm going to show you now. So ready position. Hold the ball. You're going to shift over onto your left leg with your left hand on top. Pivot turn into the corner. Here, I'm going to throw my right arm long like I'm throwing a frisbee, and my left hand is going to stroke the llama as I shift my weight into that leg. I'm now going to shift back into the middle and start holding the ball. I finish the ball holding movement when I sit down on my right leg and pivot my left toes. So from here, I'll shift my weight. My left arm will throw the frisbee. My right arm strokes the horse's mane. So one of the differences in this move over brush knee push step is there's a slight change in phasing with the moves. We go through two moves in the legs with one move in the arm. So showing you that again, holding the ball, sitting on one leg, turning out. Throw the frisbee, part the hair. Here I'm going to do two leg movements in the time it takes me to do one hand movement. So one hand movement, one leg movement, two leg movements, one hand movement. So that's all the component pieces put together. So now we can do some repetitions to get the movements into our heads. So get into your just right position, feet straight, knees bent, bum tucked underneath, shoulders relaxed, head up, everything feeling nice and bouncy and loose. So you're going to breathe in and bring your hands up to the piano playing position and hold the ball. Sit down on your right leg, right hand on top, turn into the corner. Shift the weight forward, through the frisbee, stroke the mane. Coming back into the center, half finishing the turn. When you're completely all the way around, you're holding the ball again. So, frisbee, stroke main, pivot, one, two. So the hands move slightly out of sequence with the feet. So there we have parting the wild horse's mane. Now that we have a few moves together, it means that in the next video, I'm going to show you how to connect these together to actually perform a short Tai Chi form. If you enjoyed this video and find the content interesting, please like it and consider subscribing to our channel so you'll be able to see more of our content. I've been Harold from Yellow Crown Tai Chi and thank you for watching.